All right, in this video, I'm going to show you um, how to resolve the spinning wheel problem on an Apple um, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, or even you know the older white MacBooks. Um, it could be a simple fix. It could be more of a complex fix, but either or, um, you should be able to to remedy it. Um, and the good the good part of that is is usually if that's what's going on, if you got like a spinning wheel. On, a, on an Apple icon and it won't go to your main desktop then most likely it's not your it's still not your motherboard it's something something like a hard drive or a battery but we'll go ahead and start with this one this one is a 2008 MacBook Air and it uses the older 1.8 hard drives um, not the the newer SSD hard drives but um, this one, what this one does, it'll hang on the Apple. It'll, it'll turn on, and then it'll, the Apple logo will come on, and it'll have a bar below it. We'll go ahead and do it. It'll have a bar below the Apple with like an indicator um, that's progressing, moving to the right, and eventually it goes off, and then the Apple logo comes on with a spinning wheel, and it'll, it'll sit there for like five, ten minutes, and then it'll just power off. And or sometimes it just sits there. Um, and it never goes to the uh, desktop itself. So, there's the Apple logo, of course. And then we should see the indicator pop up. There's the indicator, the spinning wheel, and just to, to quickly show it, this will start going up a little bit. This will completely, the indicator will completely disappear, and then the spinning wheel will stay on. So I'm going to go ahead and power it down. Now, the easy solution is it might be just an issue with your memory. Um, if that's the case, what happens is a lot of times people will, a couple things, they can upgrade their RAM, their memory. Let's say you want to go from a four gig to an eight gig, and this is now this right here is specifically for Mac, excuse me, MacBook Pros or regular MacBooks because the MacBook Airs are usually integrated memory, and you really can't upgrade the RAM on it. But if you got a Pro or a white MacBook, what you want to do is reset your uh, PRAM, and the PRAM is is basically the RAM that never stops; it's continuously on even if you power your computer off and um, what I was saying is is a lot of times people will upgrade the RAM or they'll accidentally switch it out they'll see that the RAM's not compatible like new RAM that they bought and then they'll put their older back um, and what will happen is, is it it confuses the computer not knowing what to do and to, you could reset that and but to reset it the only thing you have to do is hold down the command option the command button which of course is right there the option button and of course the P and the R button and you're going to press those down simultaneously as you power on so we're going to hold down command option P and R and that'll basically refresh your, your PRAM to make it like it's starting fresh from the beginning. Uh, this particular MacBook Air needs the battery replaced. That's why it's taking so long to, to start up. It has the five lights at the beginning, which means it needs an, a new battery. And I've already tried this, so I can tell you right now it's, it doesn't work. It's just going to go back to the indicator. So if that doesn't work on your on your Mac or your MacBook Pro. Um, next thing to do is you could actually do a disk utility and go to repair or you can just completely reinstall the operating system. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to completely reinstall the operating system. Uh, hopefully you got your information backed up um, on the cloud or what have you. And um, So this is going to put it back to factory. It's going to wipe everything out and put everything back on. Now for the MacBook Air I have a super drive 
and the Super Drive, of course, is made by MacBook specifically, or rather Apple specifically, and it's a it's a good quality product. If I'm going to be honest, it's like a you know a BMW compared to um, you know driving like a Gremlin, and the uh, I was going to go ahead and give you the um, the model number of this one. Uh, model number M's and Mary, D's and David, 564 M's and Mike slash A is an Apple. And if you are having any problems loading operating systems on a MacBook Air um, and you're using one of these older or these DVDs that are usually made for PCs, Dells, Toshibas, a lot of times they're they're just low quality and they won't work on a MacBook Air. Um, I'm not saying you can't try this, the um, the older DVD players, but the Super Drive, the MacBook Super Drive, that's the quality. And um, if there's nothing wrong with the hard drive, I've never had a problem with it. Now, 2008s, which is what this one is, only has one USB drive on it to hook it up, and. As you can see here, they usually flap down like that. And you can see there, so it exposes it. I got the bottom lid uh, open. That's the reason it's separating. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Okay. Now. Okay. All right. So I inserted my CD, and let's see if that loads it up. What you're going to normally do is hold down the C button, so when you start it up, it'll load directly from the CD player. So let's go ahead and try that from startup. All right, turn it off, power it back on. Now, please remember to um, let's go ahead and show you this real quick. You're holding down the C button, season cat, as soon as you see the light come on, and hopefully it'll load the operating system so you can install it. This particular one is Snow Leopard. Purchased this directly from Apple for 20 bucks online. Uh, it's 10.6, so it's an older one, which will work on all the older uh, MacBooks. You know, the 2006s, 7s, 8s, 9s. It'll work on the new ones too, but um, I'm assuming you can get the other operating systems directly from Apple. Maybe a little bit more. Just remember, look at the specs on your computer and see what it'll hold and what it can carry. Um, of course, all the older ones will do Snow Leopard and Lion, but the newer ones, as you get into like, um, or rather, you can, but you can um, cannot put like Maverick or uh, the newest one or um, you know Mountain Lion on a 2006 or 2007. So this one's a 2008, and I don't think like this would have you could put Maverick on it. So that's what I've been finding is, is the operating system will not load on this computer and if that's the case you need to troubleshoot a little bit um, it could be the hard drive most likely it's the hard drive um, it would be better if you had a lot of tools as far as um, having a, another DV, DVD like Snow Leopard another copy because it could be your disk so you want to take your disk out and clean it um, and you could do that with like a microfiber something like this and you'll go on an upper upper angle you know as you're like this you go up on it so it could be your disk that's number one number two it could be your actual DVD drive especially 
if you're using an older DVD like this. I would recommend you can get a super a used super drive for like 40 bucks online. Um, just plug in that model number. It could be the USB ports bad, and if you got a newer computer, um, you would have more than one USB port. So try a different USB port. Um, if that doesn't work, it could be your keyboard. When you're tapping C, it's not responding at all. And in that case, you can use an external keyboard like one of these. So this is like an old desktop Dell, and you just took up the, the USB and then tap C on that one. So it could be your keyboard. Um, so these are different things that it could be. Usually, if you get to this point and it's still spinning like it is now, as you can see, it's your hard drive that's bad. Um, this particular one, I said, you know, uses a 1.8 hard drive. You can get them on eBay uh, used. I've seen them as low as 30 bucks, 20, 30 bucks. New, you know, they're going to be more expensive. They're the ones that they use like on the iPods um, with a little ribbon that's connected to it. I can go ahead and show you. I went ahead and took the screws out from under here. These are all Philip head screws. So this is a 1.8. And before you touch anything, you want to you want to take the battery off. You want to unplug the battery before you touch anything. Um so 1.8, I'm going to go ahead and replace this on your newer computers if it's a MacBook Air it's going to be an SSD drive which they're very expensive um, and if you're watching this for a MacBook Pro it's going to usually use a SATA drive like this 2.5 inch SATA drive and then you can reinstall the operating system on it um, I can leave some links in the description for your particular model um, it's not as complicated as it sounds to load your operating system uh, once you once you have um, you know a good hard drive in there and a, a DVD, you just um, you know tap C at the beginning, and and it'll walk you through the process to install. Usually, it takes about 30 minutes to do it, and then uh, you might need to do some updates or install some browsers or something like that with it. But um, I hope this video helped you, and none of us likes seeing that spinning wheel on a MacBook. All right, thanks for watching.